What's up, YouTube? How you doing? Sorry for the gap in the content. We are back and we are going to be cranking out at least five videos a week with our brand new Sony ZV-1 20.1 camera. Shout out to them. It's a great camera. If you're looking for one, I highly recommend checking it out. First video with the new cam. It's all about the Mets. This is going to be basically a Mets weekly recap video. And there's one thing we got to talk about. I can't tell you how lucky the Mets were to win that game Tuesday after what they did Monday, because this would have been a bigger PR disaster and a media distraction than the New York Giants party boat was. So here's the problem with celebrating. They put themselves in a no-win situation. It was celebrating a playoff clinch when there's six teams making it. Why are you celebrating a playoff clinch for the sixth seed? When in two weeks, you know you're going to be the two seed or the four seed. I get Cohen because he wanted to be there to see the team win, to clinch the spot, because it's his first playoff berth since taking over the team. That's completely fine. But they put themselves in such a hard, horrible optic situation. Because if you celebrate at all like they did, what happens when you come out the next day flat like they did and then don't come back and win the game? What happens when Pete Alonso, after that game, instead of them winning 7-4, to four, they lose 4 nothing? And the media, you know, first question is, hey, Pete, you had your worst at-bat of the year in the first inning. Were you feeling the effects of drinking two champagne bottles last night on SNY. What happens when everyone's got to answer those questions? Did you guys get enough rest? Were you too tired? Were you hung over? Were you partying too hard? Were you too busy celebrating? The Braves weren't celebrating. The Braves just locked up their playoff spot. Their answer was, we have a game tomorrow where you can't do anything except worry about going home, getting some rest, coming back to the ballpark and taking care of business tomorrow. Do you think that you guys are just not ready to be in this race with them and destined to lose this race against them because they've been there, done that. They won the championship last year and they're acting like a team that's been there and done that. And even though you guys have people who have played World Series games before and played playoff games before, you're handling this like you're a bunch of rookies who have never been to the playoffs before. That is all the questions the media would have asked. And do I think that's garbage? Yes, I do. Because I know that these athletes know their bodies. They know what they are physically capable of doing. They go and they party and they celebrate all year throughout the year in the same exact circumstances, the difference is the light's not shining on them, the media's not there to uncover everything. Out of sight, out of mind when you go to a club until 3 a.m. in a random May night game when you have another night game the next day. No one hears about it, the team doesn't care about it because they know that you're a professional, you know what your body, you know how to handle your performance, but when the media's got access to it, it's a completely different ball game. Thankfully, they won the game because that would have happened because it's New York and because the media is ridiculous and won it in a huge statement-making fashion, too. That's another part of that that's awesome. That grand slam by Lindor, that really became like a legacy moment for him. At this point, if anyone's questioning Lindor, too, I mean, you're just ridiculous. The guy's, he's a star. He's a great player. He's a leader. He's perfect on and off the field for what the team needs. Uh, that weren't that being a good trade for both sides. He cemented himself. Pete had a huge home run. That was huge for him. I think it's going to hopefully springboard him out of the slump that he's been in lately too. So that it might actually be a blessing in disguise that they celebrated Monday because they put so much extra pressure on themselves Tuesday and they came through. And now the big thing is, is that as we sit here on Friday, September 23rd, going into the games tonight, the Mets have a one and a half game lead on the Braves. The Braves play six before they meet in Atlanta next week. The Mets play five. It guarantees if the Mets go four and one, they will be no worse than tied with Atlanta for first place. If they go five and zero, which they have a good chance of doing because they're playing Oakland and Miami, they will have a one game lead at worst going into that series against Atlanta. Here's how I think the breakdown goes. If both teams are healthy going into that series, it's gonna be very hard for the Mets to win more than two. I think they're gonna win one. So I think if they're in a situation where they're up two games going in Atlanta, they're gonna clinch the division. I think if they're up one on Atlanta, they're going to have control of their own destiny, and they're going to have to sweep the Nationals to win the division. And if they're tied or behind, I think the Braves are going to win the division. So the next five games are crucial for the Mets. You know, the, the Braves dropped the first game against the Phillies. I think they're going to lose another game against the Phillies, to be completely honest. But outside of that, I don't know if they're losing any games the rest of the year before they play the Mets. So it will be imperative for the Mets to go 4-1 and one this stretch. As long as they are tied going into the Atlanta series or in the lead against Atlanta, they have control of their own destiny. And if they win two, they'll probably be winning the division. But that'll be our next recap video. We will see where they are exactly instead of a hypothetical situation. Huge win by the Mets on Tuesday, avoiding a New York Giant party boat level disaster they would have created for themselves had they not won Tuesday. It's been a great season so far. We got two weeks left. It's going to be a really, really important next five games. They know it. They're going to take these games seriously. If they lose any games against the Oakland A's and the Marlins, it's not going to be because of lack of effort or lack of attention to detail. It's going to be that they just get outplayed those nights. 
and we'll see where that takes us. That is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and the sub button so you can catch the next video. We're going to be talking New York football 